The Ukrainian Autocephalous Orthodox Church UAOC, Ukrainian, Ukrainska Avtokofalna Pravoslavna Serkva UAPC translate. Ukrainska Avtokofalna Pravoslavna Serkva UAPC is one of the three major Orthodox churches in Ukraine. It was re-established for the third time in 1990, right before the fall of the Soviet Union. The UAPC, in its contemporary form, has its origins in the Sobor of 1921 in Kiev, shortly after Ukraine's newly found independence. The other Orthodox churches in Ukraine now are, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the Kievan Patriarchate UOCKP, and the Ukrainian Orthodox Church Moscow Patriarchate UOC. Only the UOC enjoyed recognition by the Orthodox Christian community worldwide, until October 11, 2018, when the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople recognized the UAOC and the UOCKP as restored to communion with the Eastern Orthodox Church. Metropolitan Macarius is the primate of the Church since 2015. History the Kievan metropolis was a product of the baptism of the Kievan Rus in the time of Grand Prince Vladimir the Great 988 AD. Missionaries were sent from Constantinople to instruct the people in the Byzantine Orthodox faith. Monastic life flourished, including in the famous Kiev Monastery of the Caves, through the efforts of Saint Anthony of Kiev, known as the father of Russian monasticism. The sacking of Kiev itself in December 1240 during the Mongol invasion led to the ultimate collapse of the Rus state. For many of its residents, the brutality of Mongol attacks sealed the fate of many choosing to find safe haven in the northeast. In 1299, the Kievan Metropolitan Chair was moved to Vladimir by Metropolitan Maximus, keeping the title of Kiev. As Vladimir Suzdal, and later the Grand Duchy of Moscow continued to grow unhindered, the Orthodox religious link between them and Kiev remained strong. The fall of Constantinople in 1453, allowed the once daughter Church of North East, to become autocephalous, with Kiev remaining part of the Ecumenical Patriarchate. From that moment on, the churches of Ukraine and Russia went their own separate ways. The latter became central in the growing Russian serdom, attaining Patriarchate in 1589, whilst the former became subject to repression and Polonization efforts, particularly after the Union of Brest in 1596. Eventually the persecution of Orthodox Ukrainians led to a massive rebellion under Bodin Komelnitsky, and united the Ukrainian hetmanate with the Russian serdom, and in 1686, the Kievan Metropolia came under the Moscow Patriarchate. Ukrainian clergy, for their Greek training, held key roles in the Russian Orthodox Church until the end of the 18th century. In the wake of the breakup of the Russian Empire some national groups sought autonomy or autocephaly from Moscow. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church was proclaimed under the Ukrainian National Republic in 1917 and survived in Soviet Ukraine until the early 1930s. In 1921 an all-Ukrainian Sobor Synod was called in Kiev, the capital of the newly independent Ukraine, and the Ukrainian Autocephalous Orthodox Church was declared independent from the Moscow Patriarchate MP. The Sobor delegates chose Metropolitan Vasil Lipkivsky as head of the church. The 1921 Sobor has become known as the first resurrection of the UAOC. Metropolitans Vasil Lipkivsky and Mykola Beretsky were eminent UAOC preachers. From the 1930s sermons in Soviet Ukraine were delivered mostly in Russian except in the western Ukrainian regions annexed in 1944. Until 1944 the Orthodox theological seminaries in western Ukraine taught homiletics, sermons were published in periodicals and separately in books such as Archbishop Alexei Gromadsky. Ukrainian independence was short-lived in this period, and eventually the USSR came into being. The Soviets introduced an atheistic regime, though initially the church was allowed to function, as a tool against their more adverse Russian Orthodox Church, though from 1930s the UAOC too was persecuted, and eventually disbanded in Soviet Ukraine. During World War II, when Ukraine was a battleground between the German and Soviet armies, Orthodox Ukrainians enjoyed somewhat increased freedom under German occupation. In May 1942, with the blessing of Metropolitan Dionysi, more than a dozen bishops were consecrated in St. Andrew Cathedral, Kiev, in fulfillment of the 1924 tomos of the Ecumenical Patriarch. Finally, it seemed that ecclesiastical order could be established for the UAOC. This time is referred to as the Second Resurrection of the Church. 
However, history would make it a short-lived reality. On October 8, 1942 Archbishop Nikonor Abramovich and Bishop Msty Slav Skrypnik of the UAOC and Metropolitan Oleksiy Horomadsky of the Ukrainian Autonomous Orthodox Church entered into an act of union at the Poche of Lavra uniting these two church hierarchies. Pro-Russian hierarchs of the Autonomous Church convinced Metropolitan Oleksiy to withdraw his signature. Metropolitan Oleksiy was allegedly executed in Volhynia on May 7, 1943 by members of the Ukrainian insurgent army UPA. The Russian Orthodox Church regained its general monopoly after World War II in the Ukrainian SSR. Most of the other churches were liquidated, as the Soviet government only recognized the Moscow Patriarchate MP. The MP was revived at the time as the only legitimate church in most of the Soviet Union. Many accused it of being a puppet of the Communist Party. Any UAOC hierarchs or clergy who remained in Ukraine and refused to join the Russian church were executed or sent to concentration camps. A few years later the same thing happened to the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church in western Ukraine, in Galicia and Transcarpathia. Several UAOC bishops and priests were able to escape to the West. Topic. Contemporary situation. The Church regained state recognition in 1991, which is known as the Third Resurrection of the UAOC. Initially it was governed from abroad by Patriarch Msty Slav Skrypnik. Subsequent to his death in 1993, he was succeeded by Patriarch Volodomir. The Patriarch would, during his time as Patriarch, separate from the UAOC to found the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, Kiev Patriarchate UOCKP, together with Metropolitan now Patriarch Filaret Denisenko. Those not willing to follow this change continued the UAOC with a new primate, Patriarch Dimitri Yarama. Meanwhile, in the diaspora, some bishops of the UAOC in the USA, decided in 1996, to place themselves and their parishes under the jurisdiction of the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople, thereby relinquishing the autocephaly of the Ukrainian Church and forming instead, an eparchy of the Ecumenical Throne. In 1996, Metropolitan Stefan Petrovich, committed to preserving the autocephalous nature of the Church and who had been active in assisting in its revitalization following the Soviet period in both the West and Ukraine, received formal authorization from senior hierarchs of the UAOC in Ukraine to maintain autocephaly in the West, especially in the United States. While in Ukraine Stefan Petrovich was formally authorized to lead the UAOC as a self-governing entity in North and South America. Metropolitan Stefan retired in June 2004. After his sick leave, he attempted to regain his position but without success. Metropolitan Stephen's successor is Metropolitan Mikhail Jivchak champion. Stephen Petrovich's claim to now be the most senior UAOC in the Americas is without foundation and he is now retired. On October 16, 2000, the Church Sobor in Ukraine elected Metropolitan Mefody Kudryakov of Ternopil to lead the church. As father and head of the UAOC worldwide, he was Metropolitan of Kiev and all Rus Ukraine. After his elevation, he worked towards a more global visibility for the Church, including a pastoral visit to the United States in 2006 where he was the guest of Metropolitan Mikhail and the Metropolia of the Diaspora. He also traveled to Western Europe. He fostered continued positive relations with the Ukrainian government and other religious communities. Metropolitan Mefody died in 2015. The choice of Metropolitan Makary as his successor is contested by those loyal to the memory of Metropolitan Mefody, whose open approach toward those outside Ukraine is not shared by Makary. The UAOC, with over three million members, is not officially recognized by other churches due to pressures from the Russian Orthodox Church Moscow Patriarchate. It has, however, been invited and does participate in Orthodox synods and conferences. The Ecumenical Patriarch has maintained direct dialogue with the Church but remains very sensitive to the Moscow Patriarchate's opposition to any independent churches in Ukraine. Under the personal supervision of Metropolitan Mefody, the Ternopil Orthodox Theological Academy of the Ukrainian Autocephalous Orthodox Church was renovated and its course of studies completely updated to conform to contemporary academic standards. On October 18, 2008, the first diplomas of the newly accredited theological school were awarded to qualified graduates in a ceremony in the Cathedral of the Nativity of Christ in Ternopil. 
Presiding at the commencement ceremony, at the invitation of Metropolitan Mephody, was the UAOC Metropolitan of New York and America, Michael Jivchak. The Patriarchal Cathedral of the UAOC is the historic Church of St. Andrew I called in Kiev. It was built between 1747 and 1754 and was designed by the famous architect Bartolomeo Rastrelli. Although used for regular liturgical services of the Ukrainian Autocephalous Orthodox Church, the edifice had previously been a part of the historical park, Sofia Kiev. The Ukrainian government returned the church to the legal possession of the UAOC on May 21, 2008. Geographically, the church currently has a stronger presence in western Ukrainian provinces with a smaller representation elsewhere. Previous to 1995, there were more parishes abroad in the Ukrainian diaspora communities of Canada and the United States. However, many of these parishes now form the separate churches, the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada and the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the USA, both of which are eparchies of the Ecumenical Patriarchate of Constantinople. Primates <inaudible> 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 Topic: 1921 to 1936. Topic: In 1921, with the establishment of the Ukrainian Autocephalous Orthodox Church, the Metropolitan of Kiev and all Ukraine was considered the primate of the Church. This system continued until 1936, when, due to Soviet pressure, the Ukrainian Autocephalous Orthodox Church was liquidated, with some of its members emigrating to the United States. The primates from 1921 to 1936 were Vasil Lipkivsky, Metropolitan of Kiev and All Ukraine, 1921 to 1927; Mykola Beretsky, Metropolitan of Kiev and All Ukraine, 1927 to 1930; Ivan Pavlovsky, Metropolitan of Kiev and All Ukraine, 1930 to 1936. Topic. 1942–1944 In 1942, UAOC was re-established with help of the Polish Orthodox Church during occupation of Ukraine by the Nazi Germany. Polycarp Sikorsky was consecrated by Dionysi Walidinsky. This period lasted till the return of the Red Army in 1944, after that the UAOC was again liquidated for a second time and remained structured only in the Ukrainian diaspora. Polycarp Sikorsky, Metropolitan of Lutske and Koval and Administrator of the Ukrainian Autocephalous Orthodox Church 1942 In 1944 the Orthodox Metropolitan of Warsaw, Dionysi Walidinsky, was appointed Patriarch of All Ukraine. But the Soviet Union did not allow any operation in Ukraine. 1990–present In 1990 the Ukrainian Autocephalous Orthodox Church was reinstated in Ukraine, and the former Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Canada Metropolitan, MSTY Slav, was enthroned as a patriarch. Since 2000, the church primate has been the Metropolitan of Kiev and all Ukraine. Patriarch Msty Slav Stepan Ivanovich Skrypnik, Patriarch of Kiev and all Rus Ukraine 1991-1993 Patriarch Dimitri Dimitro Yarama, Patriarch of Kiev and all Rus Ukraine 1993-2000 Metropolitan Mephody, Mephody Methodius Kudryakov, Metropolitan of Kiev and All Ukraine 2000 2015. Metropolitan Makary, Makary Maladic, Metropolitan of Kiev and All Ukraine 2015 present. Topic See also Topic Provision of autocephaly to the Orthodox Church in Ukraine Moscow-Constantinople Schism References Sources Ukrainian Autocephalous Orthodox Church, under Met. Stefan Petrovich